Hello viewers, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on the time you are watching. Today being the 21st of November 2024, Finland authorities have arrested Simon Ekba and four others on suspicion of terror activities. Now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, before I dive us into this particular news in details, it's actually a news, or rather I call it article, as reported by Sahara reporters. I would like to remind us that few months ago, Shetima, the vice president of Nigeria, and some other cabinet member of the presidency went to Finland to tell the Finland government to return uh, Simon Ekpa to Nigeria, or rather hand Simon Ekpa over to them because of the heat of this uh, upcoming December 2nd Biafra declaration. Now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, before I continue, let me dive you straight into the details of this news. Finland authorities arrest Simon Ekpa for orders on suspicion of terror activities. November 21st, 2024, the court claims that Simon Ekpa has been spreading separatist propaganda on social media. Simon Ekpa, who described himself as the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic government in Nezai, Brigade has been arrested and detained in Finland on charges of alleged terrorist activities. Local news sources in Finland report that the district court of Pajat Hami has sent Ekba, a Lati based Nigerian municipal politician, to prison on probable, unprobable cause of suspicion of publicly inciting people to commit crimes with terrorist intents. The court claims that Simon Ekba has been spreading separatist propaganda on social media. The alleged crime occurred on August 23, 2021 in Lati. The Finnish National Bureau of Investigation, NBI, is also seeking the detention of four additional men on terrorism-related charges. Ekba, who has represented Finland's National Coalition Party, NCP, in the local rules currently serves on Lattice public transport committee. He is also known for leading a separatist group in Nigeria, advocating for the establishment of an independent Biafran state in the country's southeast. Ekba, a Finnish Nigerian separatist leader, is under scrutiny for allegedly using his position to incite violence against civilians and authorities in southeastern Nigeria. Authorities believe he coordinated these efforts from Finland, leveraging his social media channels to promote harmful activities as the self-proclaimed Prime Minister of the Biafran Republic government in exile. Ekpa's action has sparked concerns about his role in fueling unrest in the region. This activity has been carried out among other means via social media channels, said Detective Chief Inspector Otto Hitune in a statement. The NBI stated, that its investigation focuses on, on a Finnish citizen of Nigerian descent born in the 1980s suspected of publicly inciting crimes with terrorist intents. The police also suspect four other individuals of financing terrorism. All five were apprehended earlier this week. Among the suspects, Ekba reside in the Lati region, while two others have addresses his Helsinki, have addresses in Helsinki. One suspect has no registered address in Finland. Ekpa has previously been implicated in criminal activities. In 2023, Finnish police detained him on suspicion of fundraising fraud but released him later the same evening. Ekpa's separatist activism has drawn global attention, particularly his calls to boycott Nigerian elections. No election will be held. Nigerian election will not be allowed in Biafran territory in 2023, he declared in a video on social media. Ekba has also publicly justified the use of violence. I support violence against Nigerian government forces. This is self-defense. They constantly attack us and have committed numerous war crimes. We have no choice but to defend ourselves, he stated. NCP Secretary Timo Elo declined to comment on Ekpa's possible membership of the party. We never say who is and who isn't our member. That is confidential information, Elo told YLA. 
Hello did, however, say that if a member of the party was suspected of terrorism offenses, that would likely lead to their expulsion. According to Elu, ECMA's role on the Public Transport Commission, for example, should be assessed locally. Now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, welcome back from this very article you heard me read. And this article is coming from Sahara Reporters. And I just read as reported by them. Now, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, in this case, before I continue, like I told us earlier, this video, that's about a couple of months ago, Shetima, the vice president of Nigeria and some other presidential cabinet went to Finland to seek or to solicit for the Finland or Finnish government to release, to let them have Simon Ekba or the patriot or the patriot Simon Ekba to Nigeria. Why are they doing this? Because Simon Ekba is fighting for the freedom of Biafra. They claim Simon Ekwa is a terrorist, that he is sponsoring or rather inciting terrorism in the southeast of Nigeria, you know, inciting the people of the southeast to work against Nigerian government. They claim for that reason he needs to be arrested. So that was actually why they went to Finland. And up to today, nobody knows the outcome. Maybe this could be one of the outcomes for the Finland government you know, to jail him and maybe from jail, return him back to Nigeria and hand him over to Nigeria government. And uh, before now, you all people understand that for like two days or so now, uh, nobody has heard from Simon Ekba as he has never tweeted, you know, people have been asking. And I believe as this could be one of the reasons, possibly they must have arrested him even two days before now. Because in this article I just read, they said they arrested them earlier this week. And today is 21st of November that the news is coming. And earlier this week should be Monday or Tuesday. You understand me? Anything that is beyond or below or above is no more earlier. You understand me? So in this regard, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the question is, if now that they have arrested Simon Ekba, if they find him guilty, and the Finnish government did not release him, they keep him in prison. Which means this may have a way of affecting the December 2nd Biafran declaration that he wanted to declare in Azai, there in Finland. Now, if they did not release him till then, and this has come to affect that particular event, does it still give Nigeria hope that Biafran agitation will stop? I don't think so. This is not going to stop Biafran liberation because when they arrested in the this is same way they thought that stopping in the could stop biafra agitation the reason why they went to his maternal home to kill him but getting there he escaped even though they succeeded to keep everything there including the livestock and every, even living things and not living things everything were vandalized but he escaped and one way one way they find a way to go and kidnap him from kenya which they did and they have kept him under detention up to this very moment, has the Biafran agitation stopped? No. This is to tell you that no matter how many people who are fronting the agitation of Biafra today that Nigerian government will arrest, it can never stop the agitation of Biafra. Because the main reason why Biafrans are agitating for Biafra, Nigerian government is not looking to that way. Nigerian government is not looking to the points, to the reason why there is Biafra agitation. There is something I keep saying, you cannot give birth to like four or five children, and among the four or five children, you are treating others like your children. The other one, you are not treating that one as like if that one is your children, and you expect that child not to begin to ask questions if you are actually the parents of that child. And with time, if after asking so much questions, you keep telling the child, I'm your mother now, or I'm your father now, but you are treating that child as if that child is not your biological child, then that child will have no option than to leave the family for his own sanity. So this is what is happening in this country. And when a child is crying, you cannot just come and say, stop crying. No. For you to stop a crying child, you need to know why that child is crying, as that child cannot speak for his or herself. You need to know why the child is crying and solve the solution so that that child can stop crying. This is the case of Biafra agitation. Biafrans are, are crying, the substance. They want to go for a reason because of the marginalization, segregation, intimidation 
how they are being treated like the fourth class citizens in their own country even knowing fully well how they contribute to the success of this country in all ramifications yet they are being treated like nobody so tell me why won't they fight for separatists hmm? why won't they fight for secession so ladies and gentlemen if nigerians think that or nigerian government think that holding anyone who come out to front the relief uh, the agitation of biafra will stop biafra they are wasting time because it cannot stop anything it cannot stop anything the in nambe kano is a clear indication of it and even before nambe kano many people have fought for biafran freedom and nigerian government somehow they package them they thank them you know they put them somewhere and they silent them but the same thing they are trying to do to Unam the Kano, but Unam the Kano, as a man who knows what he wants, he has not succumbed and he will never succumb. But before then, another person came in, came on board, which is this Simon Ekpa now that is being arrested, you know, in Finland, which I know Nigerian government they have hand in it. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, they arrest him or they don't arrest him. One thing is sure that can never stop the agitation of Biafra. Because I call Biafran agitation as a as an agitation of nature. And you all know that nature has been before the existence of every one of us. You understand me? And you cannot stop nature. Any man who tries to stop nature, nature will elude you, elude that man. That is the simple philosophy of it. So thank you, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I remain Onyechuku Meze, the anchor of this very channel, Bendon TV. In case you have not subscribed to this YouTube channel, endeavor to subscribe. Hit the notification button so that you can get updates of every of my uploads and whenever I am streaming live. I love you and don't forget, we stand for justice and you must always stand for justice and make sure that you elevate justice to rise and to prevail over injustice.